In this problem, we are given a equilateral triangle, ABC, this one, and the relation between two segments, AD, this is, and this one. AD is, EB is twice the AD. So that's the relation. And we have two angles here, 30 degrees. And what's the value of angle alpha? In order to solve this problem, we have to use this given information, the relation between these two segments. We have the length of AD, which is twice shorter than the length of EB. And then we have to make some connection between them. One of the ways to making connection of these two segments is to, to take this segment AD and put it somewhere close to this EB. For example, I would take a point P on the right of the triangle such that uh, BP is equal to AD. And let's say, let's make this angle 960 degrees as well. Of course, you can connect this CP. So if you connect them, you'll have A here and 60 degrees. And now what you can see is that uh, the, this triangle, these two triangles are equal because 60 degree here, we have six, uh, another 60 degree here. So this was given that it's 60. We take this one to be 60. So A, one side of equilateral triangle, A, one side of equilateral triangle. So that's these tri two triangles are congruent to each other by side angle side postulate. So that also gives me the congruence of these two segments, DC, CP. So what we have, so let's do some angle calculations from this point. So we have that this is A and this one is 60 degrees. So if I connect this point, maybe with this color. The length of this segment is going to be a root of three. So this is an special triangle. When you have a, a root of three and two a with the measure 60, 30. So we have two of the sides and one angle. So that's uh, uniquely uh, uniquely makes the triangle and that's this special triangle. Then we have 90 degrees over here and 30 degrees over here. Okay. Oh, this one was a root of three. Uh, next step is to connect the points GP, D and P and see that since this is 60 minus alpha and this is 60 minus alpha we can see that the triangle cdp is an equilateral triangle so that makes here 30 degrees now this is since this is 30 degrees and we have 30 degrees over here so here comes the main important point here i'm going to claim that let's say this point is x i'm going to claim that cx is equal to px the length of these two are equal. The reason is when you have any equal, uh, the reason is when you have isosceles triangle, so it doesn't have to be equilateral, and you have this perpendicular bisector, so which means it's a median and it's perpendicular. If you connect any point take any point on this line and connect this to the vertices of triangle, these two will be equal to each other. So that's the, that's basically the property or definition of the perpendicular bisector. Since we have the triangle CDP is equilateral, this triangle CDP is equilateral. And this line segment, this one, this line segment to be bisector. So we know that in equilateral triangle, 
when you have a bisector it's also median and altitude so this is perpendicular bisector so if i connect any not exactly this point any point if i take any point on this line and connect them to the vertices they will be equal to each other so that's the case here p c x is equal to p x so the triangle cpx is isosceles triangle since we know that here we have 30 degrees and these two angles have to be 15 and 15 because 15 plus 15 will be 30 degrees which means we are left with since this was 60 minus alpha uh, 60 minus alpha is 15 degrees and alpha should be 45 degrees so we found that the angle alpha is 45 degrees